In this video, we are going to implement the two new inventory repository methods, uh, which are the exist async method and add inventory async method, so that we can use these two methods in our use case. All right, so we can go over here. We can see the REST squiggly line here. I'm going to do a control dot to implement the interface. So this will create those two missing methods here and then we can implement them one by one. So first we will need to implement this exists async method. So how do we do that? Here it's a async method like this and we can use the inventory variable inside here and we can say any x goes to x inventory name dot equals and inventory dot inventory name and we're comparing without without case right so we are returning this which we can do ta await task dot from result so we implemented this exists async method now we can implement this at inventory async so here uh, we are going to just do inventories and add an inventory uh, the problem with this is that we don't know the id of it right and because we are just using a in-memory list here we will need to get the id first right we, we need to create the id first so for that we can use uh, the maximum inventory id right so we find the maximum inventory id uh, which is and create a variable to receive that and then we will need to assign this inventory id like this now the inventory will have the next id then here we are going to just uh, return task that completed task right like this and now we can go to our add inventory use case and we can extract the interface Right, and now we can dependency inject this i inventory use case, which is created right over here. We will need to move this into the interfaces folder, and then we need to go to our program.cs file to do the dependency injection. And again, here uh, it's a use case, right? It's not a database, so we will want to uh, use the transient method. So this is add inventory use case and uh, add inventory use case implementation. So this, with this, in the next video, we're gonna go ahead to create the front end and then later we can use the use case to complete the functionality.